many times have I stood here in this pulpit and demanded that you come to grips with your weakness. Yeah. No, come to grips with your weaknesses. Yeah. No, no, uh, I come to grips with your wicked weaknesses. Uh, weak wickedness. Uh, Lord, uh, wicked weaknesses. Amen. And how long have you been listening? Just to you found the right thing to say. I suppose I look pretty silly to you out here ranting and raving in the middle of nowhere. Oh, no. I used to be my daddy's congregation when he practiced sermonizing. Right. Your father was uh, a deacon or, or a minister in Detroit. Yeah. He loved sermonizing, except when he didn't think they were getting the word. And that part sounds sadly familiar. Tell me something, Polly. Did your father ever find a solution to that little problem? Oh, sure. He just started basing all of his sermons on the glad text. That's what Dad called them. Glad text? Yeah, like make a joyful noise unto the Lord, shout for joy, be glad in the Lord. Daddy said that there were 800 glad texts. Did you know that? I did not. I do not. Polly, what brings you all the way out here? Oh, Aunt Polly told me to give this to you. She said that there were some texts from Matthew that maybe you could find a way and fit them into your sermon tomorrow. Lord, Lord. I Lord, if you could show me a way that I could just talk to those people in my own words and not have to scare them half to death because of what that woman says. Reverend Gills, the Lord just did. <laughs>